thing we've got to know is that inflation is like compound uh, interest. So it works like compound interest. Now I quickly googled the um, inflation rate, I'm going to write it larger here, so in, over the last few years in South Africa. So in 2017 the inflation rate was 5.27%. In 2018 the inflation rate was 4.62%. Uh, 2019 it was 4.38%. And in 2020 it is 5.17%. Now um, let's just draw a graph of that. So I'm going to do a graph. 2017, 2018, 19, and 2020. And we're going to leave out part of the graph and start at 4, 5, 6. This is inflation as a percentage. So if we start in 2017, it was at 5,27%. Then it, in 2018, inflation was 4,62%. In 2019, 4,38%, and then in 2020, 5,17%. Uh, so if we track this, right, and now, okay, now a very common question is were there any years in which prices actually decreased? And a lot of kids would see a graph that's decreasing and they would say, yes, in 2018 prices decreased, 2019 prices decreased and prices went up in 2020. And I just want to say that is completely wrong. In fact, every single year prices increased. So in 2017 prices increased by 5,27%. In 2018 prices increased by 4,62%. They increased in 2019 by a further 4,38%. So you must not be deceived by the fact that the graph is going down because this is a graph of percentage inflation. So what is happening is the actual percentage is less, but the prices are still increasing. Let's have a look at a calculation. Say in 2017, my favorite coffee was 65 Rand, right? So... Um, We'll start with uh, 65 Rand at the uh, beginning or the end of 2017. So I'm not going to use 5,27%. What will be the price in 2018? We are not going to find 4,62% and subtract it. We're going to find 4,62% and add it because it's showing the percentage increase. So uh, times 4,62 over 100. Okay, let's just work that out quickly. So 65 times 4,62 divided by 100 equals, right, I get 3 rand, 3,00. And so in 2018, the price will, uh, by the end of uh, 2018, beginning of 2019, the price would be 68 rand. Now, during uh, 2019, the price goes up by 4,38%. So I'm going to quickly work that out. So notice that I have added the increase. That is why inflation is like compound interest, because this amount is changing each year. So 68 times 4,38 divided by 100 equals, and I'm rounding to the closest cent, 2,9%. Eight, if I round to the closest set. So at the beginning of uh, 2019, I now have the price at 70 Rand 98. And then coming up into 2020, I'm going to times by 5,17 over 100. Uh, 70,98 times 5,17 divided by 100 equals. 3,67 and so if we add that together plus 70.98 we could see the price would now be 74 and 65. 
Now, I just want to add a word of caution. Um, this is if coffee goes up at the same rate as the inflation rate. But do remember the inflation rate is worked out as an average of 2,500 items, this basket of goods and services, and not on each item. So we have to say that if coffee went up at the inflation rate, then this is what the price would be in 2020. But for individual items, the inflation rate of individual items could be quite, quite different. Thank you very much. I hope that helped.